Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. A lot of you have asked, hey, I need an update on your Black Widow problem. So what's going on? All right, so here's the update. And it's not good. Okay, so over the winter, things have really calmed down. And I thought, hey, all the Black Widows are gone. I found one Black Widow in a month. I thought, wow, that was great. Remember, Black Widows don't live in my area. There should be zero Black Widows here. If you don't remember how this all started or how it happened, just check out some of my other videos. I don't want to have to explain it each time because it'll take too long. And as I said, over the winter, I thought, oh, good, we're done with this. Except, well, you know, now it's late spring and it's back. Yes, we have Black Widows again. No, I am not happy. Yes, I will film them, but not happily. As I've said before, I'll find a black widow, I'll catch it, I'll either squish it or, or, or chop it up in the vacuum cleaner. I got a Dyson vacuum cleaner. It does a number on black widows. I mean, there's not much left by the time that vacuum's done. But when I catch them, if I want to hold on to them until I have time to film them, I was putting them in different containers. I've, look at these salt shakers. These are the perfect container to hold a black widow. I get these salt shakers with a little screw on lid. They're just under $2 for two of them at Walmart. Yes, I'd like to pay even less than that, but you know, what are you gonna do? Eat salt shaker, holds a black widow. But see, here's the problem. Check this out, look at this. All of these black widows were caught throughout the last week. It's the weekend now, so I have a chance to make a video. Look how many egg sacs you can see in these salt shakers. So you got a Black Widow that might have only been in there one day, two days, three days max, and there's already an egg sac being laid. That, my friends, answers your question of how can you have Black Widows all over your house because they multiply like rabbits? No, they multiply like spiders, which is worse than rabbits. And to answer the question a lot of you have had, are you going to do a Black Widow tank again? Well, the answer is yes, but I kind of have a problem. If you remember, the old tank was a failure for two reasons. Number one, a false widow got in with the Black Widows and just destroyed the Black Widows. Now remember, a false widow, some people call them cupboard spiders, is nowhere near as dangerous as a Black Widow, but in the spider world, it doesn't matter how dangerous you are to humans or to other creatures, it just matters how dangerous you are to bugs and other spiders. And a false widow, which is relatively harmless to us, just destroys Black Widows. And the other problem was, on the recommendation from a friend, I smeared Vaseline all around the upper lip of the tank to keep the spiders from walking out. Well, it kind of worked, except all that Vaseline slowly oozed down the sides of the tank, and I could no longer film it. Imagine trying to film with Vaseline all over the lens of your camera. That's what I'm trying to film for this tank. There's Vaseline. That was horrible. So, between that and the false widows, you know, that was just just trash because what I've found is and you guys will see the humor in this I guess if I have a heat lamp or a heat source over a tank for a scorpion or one of the scorpions somebody sent me or a pet centipede ugh, those heat lamps will attract black widow and false widows they attract spiders so yeah got problems so yes I'm gonna set up a spider tank but I think I'm going to do it more in the style that Leo Kim did in Leo Kim Video Channel. Go check out his channel. I still am not exactly sure how I'm going to keep the spiderlings in. I'll probably go to the, the cheesecloth on top. Tried that before. It's supposed to work. But I don't want it to be too difficult because I want to be able to open it up and chuck a couple crickets in there. Because if you want the spider tight, you need to see what these spiders do. In the salt shaker, when you stick a black widow in there and two days later it has an egg sac... So you wait a couple weeks, those baby spiderlings are going to hatch. You can see how quickly they can breed. I have some other little cups that I had put Black Widows in. Didn't feed them, didn't do nothing, put them in there for a month. Figured they'd die, open it up. Take a look at it, there's five or six egg sacs in there. Remember, Black Widows don't necessarily need a food source. They can lay them egg sacs and eat the spider babies. That's right. So they can just keep producing and making their own food. And they don't need to keep mating to do this. They're very creepy and they're horrible and they're hard to get rid of. All right, so what do you think? Salt shaker spiders? Yeah, not a good idea because if the spiderlings hatch, they're going to come right out the top of the salt shakers. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. Hey, if you want me to sub your channel, just ask. 
and I will. It's not that hard, but you gotta ask. So leave your comments in the comment section. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Beanmeister 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.